Hi guys, today I want to show you how I made this TV unit that can light up and that you can also watch videos on. Start by dividing two matchboxes in half. Be very careful when you do that and once you're done, glue a piece of foam board to the little drawer inside the matchbox to close the gap. Cut out a piece of foam board that is about 25 cm long and 5 cm wide. Cover it in contact paper and glue the matchboxes on top, two on each side. Glue another piece of foam board to the right side, cut off any excess and repeat the steps on the other side. Now cover it in contact paper, cover more foam board in the same paper and use it to hide the rest of the white areas. Cut out a piece of foam board that covers the entire unit, wrap it in marble contact paper and glue it on top. Now cover a large piece of foam board in contact paper and before gluing the sideboard to it, poke a hole into the top for the fairy light. When applying the glue, make sure that you don't get anything onto the draw since you won't be able to pull them out if you glue them shut. I'm using these LED fairy lights with tiny light bulbs. At the moment you can find them everywhere since it is almost Christmas or you can just order them online. If you don't want your TV unit to light up, you can skip this step. For the next step I'm using thick paperboard instead of foam board because the paperboard blocks the light and I want to achieve the look of indirect lighting and avoid light shining through the foam board. Place your phone in the center and trace around it. Don't forget to mark where the actual screen ends since this is the only part that's supposed to be visible later on. Connect those marks to get the size of the screen and cut it out. Now glue one centimeter wide strips of foam board around the pencil lines. I had to add another layer because it has to be high enough for your phone to fit in. Cover the front of the wall in marble contact paper or any other paper that you prefer. Cut out eight small pieces of foam board and glue them in the corners of the wall leaving just enough space to fit in fairy lights around the edges. Place a sheet of paperboard underneath the TV wall, trace the shape of the screen and cut out a frame for the TV. Paint it silver, glue it to the wall and if you want you can use a marker to draw little buttons. Now turn it around and place the fairy lights on top. I find it easier to carefully wrap them around the rectangles in the corners, but you can also use tape to hold them in place. Since I want to be able to remove or replace the fairy lights without damaging the TV unit, I'm going to use double-sided tape to attach the wall that is holding the TV to the large wall in the back. Paint a normal sized matchbox silver and cut open one side, place a fairy light switch inside to hide it and use a marker to make it look like a DVD player. I'm going to secure it with double sided tape. Thank you. 
Now you can place your phone inside so that your dolls can watch TV. If you don't want to use your phone, feel free to glue a picture to a piece of foam board and use that instead. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow Fun and Craft on Instagram. Bye!